Hello! Thank you so much for tuning in. We are doing a tarot angel card reading for the energy of the week, February 3rd through to February 9th, 2020. Okay, so for people that don't know already, I am doing a special on for Valentine's Day between the 1st and the 21st. So if you want to buy three healing sessions with me, hands on, in person, that's one and a half hours. It's $90 each normally for each session. So you'll be saving $70 if you book three sessions with me. I just thought I would do a little package special for people who might want to buy their wife or their husband a gift, just of a little pampering, and that way they can get a little bit more uh, love spread out. So... All right, a lot of the same cards that I was just working with on my life. So I'm on Facebook and Instagram as well, and you can go into robinshealing.com to check me out there. My uh, distant sessions are by phone, and they're $50 for one hour. And in person, as I was saying, is 90 So the lovers, angels of commitment. All right, this is about really having fun, using our imagination, creativity, that sort of thing, and just really getting out there and seizing the day, living every moment. So if you're spending too much time in your head thinking, questioning, that sort of thing, it's really just time to get out, take some action, and get more fresh air and play. Play like a kid again. So lots of, lots of beautiful energy. So we're going to have a full moon coming up on... I believe it's the 9th of February, so that'll be the very end of, end of this week. And so that energy is in Leo, and it's a fire energy. So I, I do believe that there's a lot of love energy coming in at this time, which is interesting because Valentine's Day will be coming up. And so this is saying, like, a lot of people are feeling pressured around time. Um, people are like stressed about work, they've got their everyday stuff going on. And so it's really, really starting to value your own time and respect your own self and who you are as an individual. So a lot of people are changing. They are um, breaking cycles and patterns of behaviors right now, which is amazing. So this is sadness. And it's kind of saying like, it's time to really start um, not being so reactive uh, towards everything. Just take a few minutes, just kind of chill and then look out the window and, and kind of like get into that you know good place and space and then start like making better choices that sort of thing so choices are really important then we have temperance saying that there is unconditional love there is abundance everywhere and so it's really taking more time out to not just play but like to heal and to to find more creative energy and space in your life to not just move forward um, but physically moving your body and um, being honest with yourself instead of playing pretend all the time so if you're really feeling a certain way towards something or somebody or towards yourself it's time to really pick up the pieces or maybe pick up where you left off with someone and really get back on track all right so there is some stepping stones i feel like that are important to take just like it's not long term it's just kind of start start working towards it and then we have death. So this is saying that when it comes to um, having a partner or not having a partner, this is, it's saying like, it's okay. It's all right, whether you do or don't, whether you're happy or you're not happy in the relationship. It's time to kind of like, as I was saying, pick up where you left off. Just it's time to maybe um, get back into the old version of your of your soul of where it used to be when you were happy right looking back okay well when were you happy if it's never well that's not good but maybe oh, I was around eight when I like you know felt like I didn't have all these responsibilities so it's like okay well what are some of your responsibilities well I have this ongoing pain in my shoulder we'll say so maybe it's not a responsibility as much as it is. It's just a lot of pain and a lot of discomfort. I just can't get rid of it. So it's like, okay, well, what are some things I can actually do and focus on when I'm in this pain if there's if, if I can't change it at the moment in time, right? So it's um, really making an effort to go out of your way this week to, to heal the, those aspects and, and really just make a difference and make a change because it, we're due. So it makes sense with a full moon that we're going to be working up to what it is that's no longer serving us and start working towards what it is that we want goal-wise as well. So if there's conflict with others this week, just trust that maybe um, 
maybe there are some some things that you're going through that you can't control but there are going to be um, ways that you're going to learn to to change it in the future all right so don't be hard on yourself when you're going through these things because if you didn't go through them you wouldn't know the difference and you wouldn't know how to react later okay so it's re we're repositioning our lives we're making changes and so rather than focusing on eh, I don't like this I don't like this it's like okay so so do something about it right so um, if it's if it's a new idea like new area of study things like that it's like really just getting out and touching with your hand that new thing that you're you're picking up rather than wishing you had it that sort of thing all right so huge forward movement at a time where there might be some heavy energy and some conflict and things like that so um, yeah reach out to me if you want any healing sessions um, I am doing past life regression now through uh, distance as well and some coaching which I wasn't doing before as well as I'm offering Indian head massage for my for my hands-on clients too so lots of new stuff for me take care and have an awesome week bye for now